Um, it's nice, but it kind of looks like a drag wing on the back of a F-body Camaro. So it's, uh, it's ugly. Today we're looking at the Lone Rider mini bag, six liters. liter bags that I picked up from Lone Rider. Uh, recently acquired them in order to replace the top box on my uh, Africa Twin 2021 Adventure Sports. It has the top rack in the back uh, behind the pillion and I decided to take an old box. Well not an old box. I took a box for uh, like a kind of like a pelican case, drilled some holes into it and mounted it on the back through the uh, through the holes that it has uh, through the on the um, on the passenger rack on the basically the luggage rack on the back. Um, it's nice, but it kind of looks like a drag wing on the back of a F-body Camaro, so it's uh, it's ugly. And it is a little shallow, it's not necessarily waterproof 100%, um, and it kind of gets in the way and on the, in the way of dismount. It's kind of obtuse and odd, and I'd like to tail, clean up the tail end. So this is kind of a way of, or a solution that I've come to find out that I, or come to find that I think will uh, take care of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go through the actual unboxing. This is going to be an initial impression of the product itself. And then I'm going to mount them up and then I'm going to try them out tomorrow. Let's go ahead and open this up. I have two bags in my possession. Two six liter Lone Rider bags. So here it looks like we have some G-hooks which come inside the bag itself. Those G-hooks are probably going to be connected to these portions, the molly loops, in order to fasten it to the bike. Honestly, this bike, this bag is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, it's a lot more robust than I thought it would be as well. I like the red interior. It kind of lets you get a good idea um, of what's going on in the inside of it and uh, so that way you can see it in darker situations and you don't have too much of an issue digging around in a black bag. So initial impressions of the bag, I like how they have this tie down system so that way you can cinch it down vertically and then laterally with the G-hooks. It really helps to uh, kind of keep it situated in place when you're moving around, especially since the bike leans left and right, dips forward and back with the brakes. The material feels really nice. It does have these nice patches in the front, which you can attach, for example, a five by eight patch too, and it looks pretty good. So you can fit a nice five by eight patch on the front of it. This is a reflective one that I picked up. I have another one over here. And you can attach your flags if you want to the outside. You can attach different kinds of uh, bags, attachments, uh, tools, carabiners, whatever you want to the inside, outside, fuel tanks. Um, and it does seem, to, it, I like it because it is a roll top, but at the same time, um, you don't have an extra sleeve on the inside. You don't have to take care of it. It's sort of inside liner, outside liner. Um, and it's just one big cohesive piece. Um, I guess the question now or the, idea now is to mount them up and see how they feel. Overall impression so far, they feel very nice. What do you think about them, girl? I think they're good. You think they look good? What do you think about them? Here, you play with them. Come over here. Go. Um, I think they feel good. They feel nice. Are um, they slippery? Are they hard? Um, they feel kind of like tough. Yeah, how about the inside? What do you think about the inside? It looks good on the inside. Okay. 
So this is what one of the Lone Rider bags looks like mounted on the bike. Again, this is the six liter mini bag. I have it mounted on my Outback MotorTech uh, crash bar on the external portion, actually mounted directly to the main crash bar, not on the engine guard. Well, between the engine guard, the main guard and the upper uh, guard itself. Uh, honestly, it's got my tool roll in there. It's got my knife. Uh, some extra supplies, cables, stuff like that. This is just one of them. It's a decent amount of weight. It is lateral. I just want to see how it rides. Um, but unfortunately, the weather is not wonderful right now, so I can't take it for a ride. Um, but overall, I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to see what it looks like with the roll top. Again, this is my first time kind of uh, assembling this bag and messing with it. Um, I do like the G-hooks. The G-hooks are nice and long. They give you a decent amount of length. You're able to adjust them. Make sure when you put them on, you have the G-hook opening on the bottom so the hook slides down into this portion of the strap, and then you can tighten it down from here. I don't want it too light, tight, because instead of putting these straps on the inside molar loops, they put it on the outside, which makes sense if you want to cinch down whatever you have inside the bag so it's not flopping around. But I would have liked, personally, uh, to be on the inside so that way it'll cinch the bag to whatever it is and I can leave this kind of open. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Obviously, these guys know what they're doing. Uh, they probably did it like this for a reason and maybe they want the stuff to close to the cage as opposed to the bag tight to the cage. Um, and that makes more sense. With the top rolled up, it was pretty easy. That's the first time I've really done it. It looks clean. Uh, it was easy to do. It's not, it's fairly malleable. I mean, it is a fairly resilient material, but it feels malleable. So it's something that you can bend and fold and don't have to worry about ripping or tearing. I do like how it's got these kind of rounded, durable edges in the seams. So it feels more like a pack as opposed to just a bag that's just sitting there. Um, and it attaches nicely to the Outback Motor Tech uh, cage. Then again, um, not then again, um, I did install a little flag on this one. I do have a flag on the other, uh, which is going to right here. I'm going to install the other one in a little bit. I just wanted to see how this one looks and kind of get an overall of how it, uh, it, uh, I guess I'll get an overall performance of it tomorrow when I get to go on the bike and see how it does, but a look of it. And honestly, it looks pretty good. It does not look bad whatsoever on the bike. I can't wait to get rid of that big old, uh, whale tail on the back. Well, Thank you very much again. I'll let you know how it rides. I hope you all have an excellent night uh, and thank or day, morning, afternoon, mid morning snack, afternoon poop, pregame poop. You know, I don't know, whatever it may be. Um, enjoy yourselves. Be good. Um, thank you.